uh, planning on running them between half ohm and 0.7 for amp, whatever amps I'm coming with. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jake and Viral. Uh, haven't done a build update since before Christmas, so I figured I'd make a video on a build update. Got my new subs in. Same subs as I had before. Except these are the pluses. Phi SP4 V2 15 plus. So before I had just the SP4 V2s, not the plus, which was a single lug. Now this is a double lug. They're still rated at 3500 RMS. So um, I'll be giving you a little walk around of what I've done to the setup. I already sold the other subs. I sold the amps as well. So yeah, uh, if you guys are wondering, well, what subs or amps, what did you do with them? I sold them already. And it is morning, so it is a little cold out. It's in the 30s. You'll we'll hear some cars drive by. I'm at my house. So if you don't have any questions, uh, stay tuned and ask at the end after you watch the video. I might answer it as well as stay tuned for future videos showing you my build update. Today, I'm going to give you a walk around of what I've done to the vehicle as well as what the specs are for the enclosure. Now, I will not be showing you the back amp rack because I am not complete and I will not release what amps I'm running in this video. So stay tuned for the next video for what the amps I'm running. So just a little bit of some subwoofer beauty. Y'all can see real quick how they look. Dual ones, I think they read 1.2 to 1.4 or even 0.9. Sometimes it just varies. I have to get them broken in before I can tell you true spec on the old reading. But I'm planning on running them between half ohm and 0.7 for amp, whatever amps I'm coming with. Stay tuned in the video coming later on for what amps I'm running. So there you go, that's how the sub looks. Enough with the sub, now to the enclosure. So I haven't done anything up front. Um, the only thing I've done up front was remove my seat uh, before the video before. There was a actual seat there, now I just put in I guess you can call it a kayak seat or a boat seat. Um, the reason I did that is I needed a little back support. So I got the back support. Also, I needed a little bit more um, room here for my port velocity so that the, the um, seat isn't actually blocking the front of the port. So with this being a thin layer of plastic, majority of my, my port isn't being blocked like before I had it. Um, I also did a lot to my dash since this last video looks very very junky and trashy so i still got some work to do but this is just a build update for you guys to see so this is how my dash looks currently it's not clean at all um i just literally have wood up here the only reason the wood's up here is to keep what i need in the vehicle what i need in the vehicle is my speedometer my light signal my switches um, my head unit and some wiring the rest of it i didn't need so hey i don't even have ac or heat um once again do not judge me or diss about the appearance of the setup. Um, so this is how I got my head unit. If you have questions on that, just ask on how I did it. That's my head unit with a little cooling at the bottom. Um, I don't have a lot of mids and highs, just the two mid base and four little Pioneer's cheap tweeters. Uh, more into the SPO and bass than I am the actual um, music, even though I'll still hear it just not as loud as a lot of people. Since the last update, I added a second sheet of a three quarter birch. So now it's double layer, one and a half inch instead of a quarter or three quarter before. Um, still got some testing to do with that. This will eventually be all taped off. Now the floor is not done. I'm going to be putting one or two layers of Dynamat on the floor here. So stay tuned on that. You might hear this later in another video afterward when it's installed i'm going to be one or two layer dynamatting the floor and the front end where it wasn't dynamatted before and that's about it i don't have any form of passenger dash at all so i'm not worried about looks i'm not even worried about even really competing like i can compete if i go to a show but in general i'm not really worried about it I just want to be as loud as possible so if i was to compete i'd be considered extreme class competing with the big boys so my ultimate goal for this setup 
is to do 65 sealed on 4 fifteenths. Um, a lot of people probably would think it's possible with a lot of modifications and cabin adjustment, as well as port tuning and enclosure adjustment, and a lot of power. So you'll stay tuned in another video for the power I'm gonna be running. And I'm, my goal is 165 sealed. 65 sealed can be kick, dash, headrest, it doesn't matter. As long as I get a 65 on the, with the doors closed, windows up. All right, so a little back view of how it looks. Very junky and trashy, but still got a lot to work on it. I'm doing a build video update since I haven't posted since before Christmas and figured you guys might want to know how that is going. Before I go to the enclosure, I'm going to show you the amps, or not the amps, the alternators. Um, the same as before, but some new guys here since then. Uh, have a 350 JS alternator and a 390 um, CES alternator and no front battery. I have lithium in the back. I had a 100 amp hour limit list before, but like I said, I'm not gonna show the back end for the upgrade of electrical until next video. Oh, we got a fire somewhere. Y'all can hear that. Anyway, it's okay, I'll keep rolling. I'm not editing this video for you guys. It's all raw data, no edit. So, YouTube Jacob Vile, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. A lot of guys don't know I have a system like this and you don't see a enclosure like this ever. Like anybody that builds most of the demos you see, never anybody's gonna be this ugly and this raggedy and this, uh, even extreme to be honest. Very little um, people that I get demos of have any form of extreme builds such as this because they like to have their door speakers and their door pods. They like to compete in a stock class or non-extreme basis. Um, one question I'll go ahead and mention, some people are wondering, so why don't you put a pole here? I used to have a pole if you watch some of my other videos, but I'm not gonna be planning to put any form of pole here just because I like to have my room of clearance between the two. Um, I'll try it probably to see if I gain, but if I can get my 65 sealed without doing a pole, then I'm gonna keep it. Uh, my glass, how does it not shatter? So explorers are known to handle a lot more SPL or a lot more number base, like more pressure in the cabin and not explode or crack or whatever as an actual um, other vehicles. It's just how the cabin's built, the way the fabrication works of it. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. So another thing is uh, before I've never ran any form of like um, base knob, I'm gonna be running a pack LC1, they're cheap. I got it for $7, I think on Amazon. Gonna go ahead and use that to run between my amps. I'm not gonna have any clipping meter like I used to because I'm gonna use the DD1. DD1's probably about 95% accurate. I'll do it to negative. 5 dB, 40 hertz. Um, so the reason I did the front like this is I just needed something that will prevent flex for my head unit and my speakers. I needed a place to put my speakers. Um, I thought about putting them down here, but I didn't want to really cover up or any form of like, um, I didn't want to block the pressure that's going to be going around all these wires and uh, the floor mat basically around the port. Um, I could seal it off and build some stuff around it and make it all wood, but I kind of want to make this at least halfway just dynamat base and not wood. That way it looks a little more impressive to see, oh wow, so you still have a stock cabin, just dynamat, and you're still doing high numbers. So that's the reason I did that. All right, enough talking. Um, next thing on the cabin, I'm gonna talk about the enclosure for my last thing for the video. So right now, if you guys have seen my previous videos, if you haven't, go to the playlist on my channel my setup and you'll see over 20 videos of different tests and tunes and systems me just playing my system and talking about it and the changes so all this wood in here i added it's a fourth order fourth order band pass enclosure for 415s the 415s you saw outside so i have wood i added in here to get to my spec so right now if i took all that wood out in my enclosure it would be down it would be up to 2.76 cubes per sub. Right now it's at 1.75. So I added about a cube of wood per sub. So almost four cubes, of, pretty much four cubes of wood is inside this enclosure. And that's after I installed the subs mounted regular. That's net volume is 1.75 cubes per sub is where I'm at right now. Before uh, my last video when I showed you guys with the subs installed and all that, it was 1.95 cubes sealed. So I added about 0.2 cubes, so 0.8 total wood in there extra from before last video. The wire I used is some cheap Connect Concept uh, 8 gauge, that's about right. 
for the power I'm going to be running. You'll see in the next video for what I'm going to be running for power, so stay tuned. Um, now for my ported section. I used to have 45s um, around it in the last video, 45s on the floor. I literally took out everything that I added in here from the stock of the enclosure when I built it. So it's literally no 45s. I have no um, angles or any form of like bracing outside of just the poles that I have in here. And that's that's how I uh, decided to test it to start off with, as big as imported enclosure as possible. So right now, I have 41.1 cubes ported. 41.1 cubes in the ported enclosure side. And that's all the way net after the bracing displacement, all the way out to the port. 41 cubes. And the sealed is 7.2. So 7.2 and 41, that's around a 5.8 to 1. So uh, almost a 6 to 1 ratio, fourth order, is my goal. The reason I went high peak uh, frequency on my ratio is to get a high peak. So I can go ahead and see how I can get this uh, one, one note wonder enclosure is what you would call it. So I'll have a low peak and a high peak, and I'll peak about one or two to be higher on that one note being a high ratio, hopefully is my goal. Not 100% accurate on that. Um, everybody's system's different on testing. So, um, last thing is the, and the enclosure is the bracing. I only had two before. I have one more here, and after I've installed the subs today, I'm gonna install another port. Uh, I'm in a box and bracing right here. All it is is a, uh, I think it was a three quarter or one inch rod. I went from Lowe's or Home Depot or A stores or somewhere local in my area, excuse me, in my area, and I just got them cut to size and threaded. So, and that's it. For the enclosure. I uh, would like to say that this build was done by me completely and my girlfriend Jessica. So nobody else has put any hands on deck in this but me and Jessica. And it took about a whole day on and off to get all the tape in here. So I had somebody ask me a question about that. How long did it take you to do all this tape? Why did you do the tape? So the real reason I did the tape is nobody's done it. I mean a few people have but it's called SBL tape, DB tape. So I figured well it's a smoother surface. It's cheaper to do the tape than it is for me to go ahead and get couple gallons of fiberglass resin and I can take the tape off if it doesn't work out and adjust my port and my box but with fiberglass resin I'm gonna fight to get that stuff out if I need to adjust it so yeah all right um last thing I mentioned on my enclosure is the port I didn't mention that right now it's at 14 by 43 which is 600 square inches of port I'm gonna be adding some roundovers down there uh you can hardly see it but yeah it's gonna be rounded over with a pvc Hopefully, by the time I'm done, it looks trashy and it's not even 100% braced properly and screwed in enough yet, but I'll make it look better by the time I'm done for the next video. So if y'all have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. This video's a little longer than I expected, but hey, I got a lot to say for you guys before y'all ask questions. Um, this is Jacob Viral out. Um, I appreciate y'all always watching and stay tuned for future build updates. And I'll be going to a couple of shows in Florida and Georgia and North and South Carolina for the system, hopefully. Uh, planning on going to, I know I'm going to Ruckus, I'm going to the Sundown Audio Show, I'm going to Slam Fest in Florida. Probably gonna go to a few more. The majority of them are more local in Georgia. Those are the big ones. I'm going to TDH in Virginia. I've never been to TDH, it'll be my first year. It's about a seven and a half hour drive from me. So hopefully it'll be worth it, it'll be fun. Get some demos from some guys, post videos for y'all every day, so. Once again, this is Jacob All Out. Subscribe if you haven't. Any questions, comment, and stay tuned for a build update for the subs installed with all the updates I've done to the cabin and the enclosure as well as when I get the amps. All right, later. What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.